let's begin so today we are going to make a naka 63a010 airfoil in inventor software those who don't have the software they need to download it from this link i have put it down in my description and the name is inventor 2020 so just scrolling down and you need to find there's one autodex in professional 2020 so this is a crack version you can download it from here and there's a video is there uh, like yeah, i'll show you so the size is 11 gb and you need a 40 gb of space free space and uh, you can now we can see how to uh, install the software there's a video of it so you can have that thing from there okay so let's start with the airfoil so this is a airfoil site where we gonna have the coordinates of the airfoil so so today we are going to design six digit airfoil okay naka six digit airfoil so click on this and uh, scroll down you can find this select format here okay so these are coordinates so i'm just copying it so you, you need to make a new folder and in that you need to find a new text okay a text document first of all i'm just naming it and inside it we need to copy this all and paste it in the text file and align the coordinates properly okay so this is our first step second now we are going to uh, make a new excel sheet naming it people ask like why are, why i'm do, going to do this two two stuff at the same time so this is uh, all for the saving your time to like uh, uh, copy pasting it the from there to here okay so by just clicking on data and importing from the text saves your time by like it will it will come into excel with the proper format okay so there's our text file import and it will ask for this requirements like we are selecting here space so it will align in two columns okay this is our own motive of here to being uh, carry, carried out into two files okay so just creating a new row and uh, going for x and y coordinates Okay, saving it and coming back to the inventor software. So you need to create a new part. Click it. Okay. So just see in the tree, scroll it down, and you can find the X Y plane. Click on it and go for sketch. So now we need to import the excel coordinates into the inventor software so for that we need to find this command called points so before that i have one question for you don't you find difficulty in concentrating in things so here's a solution you could you could have your good nutrition along with a good cup of coffee so that keeps your brain boosted and healthy okay coming up next um you, you need to find the excel sheet that we have made in your computer open it in the software okay so just open and uh, wait for a second and you can find this uh, coordinates they are displayed on your screen so just zoom it use the scroll button for zooming in and zooming out there's a two splines so first spline is for the vertices joining okay so we don't need that thing so second is a spline for joining the points so, so we are going to select the second option here okay so just joining the points with the help of the spline and uh, you need to pan the diagram so you need to hold your scroll button and uh, move your mouse like the left and right hand side so you can navigate through the diagram okay or the uh, sketch so just join all the points with a very like a concentration so you can you, you won't miss any point here okay so i'm just speeding up 
in the video. Don't forget to select the origin, okay? It's a part of that thing. And this whole thing is of uh, like a range of 0 to 1 mm, okay? So we need to scale it, okay? Just hold up and uh, finish it here on the last point. And we need to make an arc at the end of it. Okay, for now. So first of all, we need to grab a arc command and uh, join it. Right click, OK. So now going for scaling command, selecting this spline, and you using the base point of uh, arc center. So here is the thing. Select this point here and drop it. Click yes and you can see the corresponding changes ha are happening and you should give 50 inch as the cord length of the airfoil okay apply and it's done you can have variable cord length okay as per your requirement and now deleting this small arc okay i didn't find anything here so just i'm using the uh, keyboard button called delete okay so do done is done now going for up next again the r command tangent should be there and okay it's done right click okay so here we are completing the aerofoil shape and now coming up next we are going for a command called extrude so you need to select that aerofoil okay and for that we need to have a distance of 150 okay uh, once take it as 170 inches okay so adding up the material to the body so I'm just going for aluminium simple aluminium okay so for that I need to go in the tools um, okay tools now you can find it over there and material so select the part one material and go for metal first one aluminium 6061 and you can check the properties and you can customize it as per your requirement so I'm just selecting this and that's it and now I'm going for appearance so my favorite color is yellow so I'm going to give color yellow glossy yellow okay so here's it select the part go for the and here we go who says designing is difficult it's so simple you, you just need to have the like a proper channel to learn it if you need my designs and all these things so you need to go at grabcat site you can find that link in in my description hope you like this video and i give big thumbs up to this video and subscribe my channel and see you for the next time if you still want, want to learn more you can find my more designs or more videos in at my channel for now, happy learning and signing off. See you next time.